How to run Google Ads for Shopify Store 2024 quick tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you on how you can run Google Ads for your Shopify in the easiest and most simplest way. And uh, I'm gonna be making you stand out on Shopify and I'm gonna be giving you a great idea of how these things are gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and write Google Ads and uh, we're gonna go into the signing up of Google Ads. So it says Google Ads, you can get customers and sell more with online banking and online advertisements, okay? So here it says, you know, more revenue with Google Ads for whatever matters most, make it easier for potential customers to find your business with Google Ads and you can obviously start now. Uh, do make sure to log yourself in with a proper account. Now obviously the account that I have already has Google Ads in it. So to actually use your Google Ads or to re-reference your Google Ads with this, you are gonna want to add Google Ads in your Shopify as well. So while I'm over here, I'm gonna click on start now with the account that I've logged in from my Google. Okay, and while that loads up, it's gonna come here. We're just gonna take me into the actual Google Ads campaign. Now, I already have an account. I assume you do too. If you don't, please do make sure to create an account. Because if you don't have an account, you will not be able to go ahead and use Google Ads with your Shopify. Now, while this loads up, you are going to want to make sure to get a very solid and clear cut idea of uh, how you are going to want to, you know, keep integrity of this and uh, keep your ads up and running. So while our Google ads load up, our campaigns load up, I'm going to come here to my Shopify and I'm going to go ahead and click on add apps. Now, once you go on add apps, you're going to go over to Shopify app store. And once you go to your Shopify app store, you're going to wait for these things to load up. So once this loads up, you're going to come here to the search bar and uh, I'm going to go ahead and write Google and YouTube. Okay. You're going to write Google and YouTube. So once you write Google and YouTube or just write Google, it doesn't really matter. It's going to give you this. And this is exactly what we're looking for. This is exactly what we need. And uh, once you do that, you're going to click on install. And once you click on install, what's going to happen is it's uh, just, you know, going to wait for things to load up. And uh, while it's installing, it's going to take you and redirect you to your actual Shopify store. Over there, it's going to take you to the actual installer and we're just going to want to make sure to wait for the actual things to install. Now, obviously, while it's installing, you can uh, get into the more in-depth and details of, uh, you know, using your sales channel. So you're going to come here. Let's say I'm over here and install. You're going to click on add to sales channel. And this will basically add Google and YouTube to your actual Shopify sales channel, which is pretty incredible. So let's just wait for this to quickly load in. And uh, once this fully loads in, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start using uh, and uh, going ahead into the actual connection of our Google ad campaigns to our Google Shopify. Now, Obviously, simultaneously, while all of this is going on, you are going to want to make sure that your Google Ads is fully set up and running as well, because if that isn't running up, trust me, you will not want to go ahead with this, because without all those things, this will not work. So just go ahead and uh, make good use of it just to get a proper and full-fledged idea of how, you know, your ads on Shopify are actually going to run up, right? now. Commonly, what uh, most people make the mistake of doing over here is uh, when they're creating campaign, they just go straight into the ads. And they start making different ad campaigns to start, you know, thinking that, oh, we're going to just start generating right away. But that's not how it works, you know, because when you are in your campaign and you want to create some campaigns for yourself, what you are going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to be in the actual assets section first of all to choose your assets okay to choose the people and uh, the campaigns you're going to acetate them with all right so you're going to want to be there you can also go into your tools and actually use these tools for yourself 
and uh, get a good idea of how you are going to go, um, you know, fully setting up these things. Now, once you've set it up your campaign account or your Google campaign account, you're going to load in your Shopify and uh, as or whilst your Shopify is loading in, it's going to ask you your account. Now, obviously, my Google Ads campaign account is on this one. So whichever account it's on, you're going to go with that. You're going to choose your account or brand account. Obviously, you can use the YouTube account that you've connected to this, but I'm going to skip that bit and I'm going to go straight into the actual email. I'm going to go straight into the actual mail. Just use that. So once we do this, what we are going to be doing is we're going to go over to this section here. It says product listings, add your products to Google Merchant Center. So your listings can appear. Obviously, that's different. But what if we want to get started with the actual ads? So once your Google is connected over here, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to want to fill in these things. So you're going to add a valid payment method. You're going to create an online store. You're going to add a refund policy in terms of service and confirm that you've added contact information to your actual store. And once you add all those things and you've finally completed your setup, that is when everything is going to start working. So it says obviously emails from Gmail and YouTube app. You're going to turn them on. You're going to turn on the basic things. Then obviously adding a valid payment method. You're going to go ahead with that. Then it says creating an online store. You're going to create a proper full fledged password disabled online store. Okay, because if your password is enabled, that will not cut it for the people at Google. So do make sure that uh, you follow all their steps and you follow all the things and, uh, you know, actual rules that they've abided you against, because after following them is when you will get your account. OK, so without following these uh, actual rules, you cannot start off your journey with Google and Shopify. So make sure to have these things fully set it out and running for yourself and you should be good to go. So yeah, that's the general idea of how you are going to be using your Shopify with your um, Google. Okay. And the fun part about this is that you can actually connect your YouTube to this as well. And once you connect your YouTube, obviously, you can easily um, connect your YouTube channel, gain revenue from there. And obviously, all the advertisements that you have on your Shopify can be found on your YouTube as well. And obviously, you can connect the apps, do different ad conversions, and a whole lot more. So, you know, it gives us a really clear cut and general idea of how things work. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Thank you for watching all the way till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.